Hello friends, welcome to Amazapti Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to configure storage space in Windows Server 2012 R2. Let's discuss about the storage space. Storage space is a new feature in Windows Server 2012 and uh, Windows 8 operating systems. The fundamental concept of uh, storage space is uh, it pulls physical disk together and uh, make it look like a single disk to the operating system. You can add any type of and any size of physical disk to the pool and create a resilient disk. Storage space works on both NTFS and REFS volumes. So let's configure storage space in Windows Server 2012 R2. To configure storage space, storage service server role must be installed on uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. And this server role is installed by default in Windows Server 2012 R2. So the first step is to have uh, some physical disk. You can have a minimum of one uh, disk but to be able to configure resiliency you need at least two or more physical disk. Physical disk are used to create a storage pool. So let's click on a file and storage service. Under uh, disk we have a three disk but the first is uh, my disk on that already I installed the OS. We have a two disk and just right click. First, we have to initialize that disk. OK. And second, even initialize. And that's it. Both disks has a GPT partition styles. As you can see below, I have a two new physical disk, disk 1 and disk 2. We will combine these two disks and create some storage pools. So remember, after initializing, the disk do not format it. So step 1, create storage pool. To create a storage pool, click on storage pools, click on task, click on new storage pool. Now storage pool results pops up in the before you begin page, click on next and here we type the name of the storage pool and uh, the little description for this demo, I will use pool 1, click on next. Now select the available physical disk. We want to use disk 1 and disk 2, click on next and uh, review the settings and then click on create. That's it. Click on close after the wizard finish the configuration. Now we have a successfully created the storage pool name pool 1. Now step 2 create a virtual disk. So what is virtual disk? These are the disk that will be used by the operating system or used after creating a volumes of the disk. Virtual disk can be a fixed or thin provision. In thin provision, disk space are added as required on the run. But in a thick provisioning, storage capacity is fixed and is allocated while creating the virtual disk. So in a second steps, we are going to create a virtual disk. Okay, first select our pool and then on a virtual disk pane, click on a task pane and then select new virtual disk. New virtual disk wizards pops up. Click next on before you begin page. Choose the available pool from which virtual disk will be created. We will choose pool 1 and then click on next. Now type the name and description for the virtual disk and then click on next. For this demonstration, I am going to specify vdisk1 and click on next. See in a simple virtual disk data is stripped across physical disk and does not provide any fault tolerance. So here's a simple and the mirror data is duplicated on two or three physical disk. It will increase reliability but reduce the capacity. In a parity data and parity information are stripped across the physical disk. But for this demonstration I'm going to select simple and then click on next. Uh, select the provisioning type. I will choose uh, thin provisioning because thin provisioning is more efficient and economic. Click on next. Now specify the size and for this demonstration we will use 50 gig. Click on next and review the settings and then click on create to create the virtual disk. Now view the result. Uh, check the options create a volume when this wizard close click on close and now we have a virtual disk one and let's create a new volume under our uh, virtual disk one so to do that just right click on it and select new volume click next on uh, before you begin wizard on uh, server and disk 
the server is SRTDC01 and we have a disk 3 but as you are seeing we have a virtual disk click on next let's specify the size and for this demonstration I will use 50 GB click on next specify the drive later and then click on next click on next we will use default file system NTFS and default allocation unit click on next and then review the configuration and click on create to create a new volume and that's it just open my computer and here as you are seeing we have a app drive with 25 GB space in this uh, video demonstration first we combined two disks into storage pool then we create a virtual disk and then after we create a volume with a 25 GB with thin frozen so in this way uh, we can configure storage space in uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 that's it for this demonstrations thanks for watching this video